Hello and welcome to Footy Talk for your Thursday. Footy Talk, of course, is your place for the latest news, interviews and analysis from the world of AFL, back by popular demand. The man that always sits across the table from me on a Thursday, Mr. He Shaw. I did last week, but um, yeah, I am back this week. Had a nice little trip Where up were to you? Darwin. You went to Darwin for yeah. the Darwin Cup? Yep, 30 degrees up there. It's beautiful, mate. Ooh, and have you had a haircut? It looks... No, it just looks good. It does look yeah. good. And it got a tan as well, so it helps. Well done to you. Uh, not sure tanning is in your wheelhouse with white skin and freckles. But anyway, uh, we are joined, Heath, and this is very exciting. When you get to this time of year, everybody starts to look around and think about what their club's going to do when it comes to draft time. And we've got a gun midfielder from the Vic country via the Greater Western Victoria Rebels. Uh, midfielder, Sam Laylor. Sam, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, guys. Mate, Sam's excited. You know why? Why? Because he's a Collingwood man. Oh, yes. what are you making of their year? Are they a chance <laughs> to roll the Swans and pinch a couple on the way in and make finals again? Yeah, I reckon Swans aren't in the best form and we've hit some form, so hopefully we can um, get through. It doesn't help Jordan to go. He's out, but I reckon I'll back us in. Would you love to be drafted to the Pies? Oh, yeah, 100%. I'd <laughs> love to be the Pies, growing up as a Pies supporter. And he was just telling me that I was his favourite player. Really? Yeah. No, he was lying. I was going to say. <laughs> Who was your favourite player? Obviously. Uh, or Jordan Ngoi. Jordan Ngoi. Because you yeah. are the most physically imposing midfielder in the draft is the notes that I'm reading, Heath, which is a, a good tag to have. And when we see uh, or we think of that, we probably do think of Jordan Ngoi, but also a Dusty Martin. Have you modelled your game around those sort of blokes? Uh, well, yeah, definitely. They're two of the players that I've watched growing up. And um, yeah, obviously going for Collingwood, Jordan Ngoi has been... Uh, an unreal player to watch and follow. And um, yeah, Dusty, obviously one of the greatest ever. And um, He's been liking to Dusty. Yeah, I know. Have, Have you got a that. strong fend off? Oh, How's I'll try to bring it out a bit. Yeah. Um, How's the timing? Yeah. Dusty's Dusty, just handing yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> and well, Richmond are also going to have the well, there's a a jumper very, for it, yeah. uh, very high up. <laughs> A number four is <laughs> available on your back. Mm. Uh, you kick six goals for Geelong Grammar as well. So a midfielder who can go forward. Were you playing mid that day or were you bare in the square? I uh, started in the mid um, for the first half and then played forward for the second half and yeah, kicked six in the second half. So it was... It was um, <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I've been um, changing into a bit of a forward this year because I've been injured most of the season. So Yeah, you've had to have a few injuries. Um how do you go, like, sitting on the sidelines and obviously all your mates are running around and all you want to do is play footy? How do you go just sitting there watching? Oh, it's pretty hard, but um, there's not much you can do, I guess. I guess a lot of things you can do, like sleep, nutrition, everything you can do to get yourself on the field. And, um, yeah, it was hard missing out on the Australian game earlier in the season and um, missing out on the Rebels, but uh, I'm happy I'm back playing now. So. You've been invited to the draft combine. When does that go down? Uh, it's early October, so there's a weekend from the 4th to the 6th. Are you a good runner? What like? Do they really um, take that stuff Well, they days? didn't in my year because I just finished up winning the premiership at the Gippsland Power and we've been on footy trip in Bendigo. And I <laughs> yeah. come out and ran about a but four day, three they, KR. Do they need to do the combines anymore because they know if they're good players. And like, well, look, really... it's a bit of fear. They've nab sponsors it, you know, some money coming in, money going out. But you do want to see, I guess, the kicking challenges and the way that it's done now. It's a bit more the NBA model uh, and NFL. What are your strengths when you're going to come to that sort of combine? And are you worried about anything? Uh, my strengths would be the 20 metre sprint and the, the verticals. I'm more of a power athlete, not yep. quite the best endurance athlete. <laughs> okay. I love that. Been nicknamed the tractor. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> the nah, but, <laughs> yeah, but, um, no, nah, I'll be working hard on the, on the running side of it. So that's always something I need to improve on. Do they tell you with the combine, I've got no idea. I didn't even go to one. Do they tell you what, exactly what you're doing? Like all the, all the things you have to do so you can sort of pick yep. the stuff that you want to practice or all that sort of thing. So they give you the full list and you yeah. just, away you go. So it's pretty much the same as like the testing days at the start of the year now. It's the agility test, standing and running vertical, 20 meter sprint and the 2K hour, so... Are you left and right sided for the skills testing? Um, I don't even think they do the skills testing anymore. Have they sacked that? Yeah, I think so. No skin folds, no skills. Yeah, no skin folds either. either. No nah. skills get away with it. I didn't them earlier this year though at school, so. What'd you get? Oh, I don't know. Are oh, you my. not allowed to be told? <laughs> no, I, I would tell you if I knew, but. Um, and a lot of players, we see this heap, and you were a pretty good cricketer, uh, not at any great level, but. Did your best. Yeah. You were part of the elite program through Cricket Victoria. Did you have to make a decision? Were you that good? Yeah, I, I don't what know. A, I can just picture you batting like... Batting four and little yeah, seamies. Batting four and then just like talking a mid-wicket. Yeah. Like just stand and deliver. And then, it's on the money. Yeah, yeah first drop bowl. I come in, jag them around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I... Um, 
I did. I was all right cricket. I was pretty good cricket. I was playing through the Vic Country program and went down to Tassie in under 17s and I had a pretty good carnival. High so, score? Um, 68. It was first game off eight sixes. So. <laughs> you got him in. You, you got me there. <laughs> I, I That's the one. It's <laughs> midweek. And mate. Clear the front leg and just I'm put just, it to count. I figured out. He said, a good 20 metre sprint. That's the length of the pitch. <laughs> Power singles. athlete. Bang. That's it. That no endurance. Over the fence. Exactly. Sits at first slip as well. That's all we need <laughs> yeah, to exactly. do. Have you spoken to any footy clubs though? Like in the serious part of the draft, have they reached out? Your manager, yep. I assume you'd have one of them by now? Yeah. Um, management at Hemisphere Management Group. So they've been awesome. Um, but yeah, a lot of meetings coming up. A lot um, trying to come home in the holidays because I'm at boarding school. So it's yep. hard. So I've got... A lot of meetings next week and um, tomorrow, a couple of tomorrow as well. So, do they these meetings and these when they come and see their clubs? So they obviously they watch your football. They know what you do as a football. What do they sort of ask? What are the questions they ask you? Like, is it like more personal? Is it like what drives you? It's what what do you like off field or what do you make? I'll give like? you one of the great answers too. You go first. Okay. I'll give you a great okay. answer. Um, the yeah, yeah, it's a lot about they want to meet my family, so they come home and they talk to my family a lot of time, and then they want to know what I do outside of footy and um, how my school's going. And then, yeah, so not too much around the footy, but, yeah, yeah it's good. How is your school going? Oh, well, we had a good chat out there. Oh, no, did you? Well, I'll... You can't wait for it to end. I, <laughs> that much. I don't know I that do apologise. <laughs> I was running late. No, so no. Hey, you don't tell the lies about your school. How is school going? Yeah, oh, it's, it's going all right. I'm getting through, trying to get through. So um, I think i got one sack for each subject left. Right. So six weeks and then I'm done content and getting ready for exams. Uh, as part of my drive draft process i got asked the question a lot what's your worst trait which is a, a good question to ask and obviously they're worrying you know they're trying to get you to dog yourself i said oh, my worst trait is i'm too competitive that is a good answer <laughs> that's one of those like no it's not one week at a time i am so competitive, you, you win both you can't go, it's like all right well why are you competitive so well you prove that i'm not well, it's what, good. What, what, hey, hey, okay right. what's your worst trait my worst trait. If you don't say you're too competitive, you're <laughs> yeah, too no competitive. Yeah. Too competitive. I was, competitive. I was too good at cricket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't good enough at cricket. Yeah. Um, awesome stuff, me. mate. Uh, a very exciting time in your life coming up. We certainly hope that you do uh, get yourself through the draft, but also no doubt you will be drafted and. Let's hope you. Crossed. Let's hope you slide to the pies. Yes, yeah, slide yeah. to the pies. That's that would be hopefully. ideal. But uh, thanks so much for coming in. Mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. What an awesome chat. We wish Sam Laylor all the best. Coming up next, we're going to chat to a teammate of his. Were you teammates in Vic Country? Yeah. yeah, teammates Vic Country. Coming up after the break, we are going to chat to a Vic Country teammate of his, also draft hopeful in Harvey Langford. That's all coming up next on the Footy Talk podcast. Welcome back to the Footy Talk podcast for your Thursday. If you're listening on Spotify, hit the bell so you can get notified when we drop a new episode or check us out on the Instagram at footytalk underscore pod. Heath, one superstar out, one superstar in. That's the way we roll here. We welcome Harvey Langford. Harvey, thanks G'day. for coming in, buddy. G'day, boys. Thanks for having me. You know what I like? What do you like? The fact that we're getting like not just the normal AFL players on and getting the like the future. Yeah, we are here, and these yeah. guys officially. And this is our idea too. And they officially become our boys too. Yeah. So whatever. Will Day. Will Day. Will Day came in here, and the Hawks have gone on an eight and one run. Yeah. Since. Right. Yeah. So and his form's been pretty good. So you're yeah. in. Uh, yeah, you're in good company. And yeah, no. as you can probably tell, we're going to take most of the credit for your career. Yep. Yeah. Um, Lucky with that. <laughs> how are you going? Are you getting excited as the draft is nearing? Yeah, no, as, it, as I get close, I'm definitely getting a lot more excited and, you know, in some good form at the moment and, you know, it's definitely, combine's coming up, so, no, nah, really, really keen for it. Where are you playing your footy at the minute? Uh, Deenong, Stingrays. Yeah. Yeah, so we're doing pretty well. Had a good couple of wins in the last couple of weeks, so, yeah. You're a Richmond supporter. Yes. Big news. Hang on, do you know about this big news? <laughs> no, of course I know about it. No. <laughs> Mate, he was a bit devastated out there. Mm. Dusty's gone. Flat as a biscuit. No, nah, real. Real flat. Found out at school yesterday. Yesterday morning, I was almost in tears. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was, it was tough. Tough news. Really, really sad, but I don't know what he's going to do, so... Well, officially he's retired. There are still links to Gold Coast. I don't think that's going to be happening. Yeah, what nah. do you love most about Dustin Martin? Oh, it's just... His impact, I guess, you know, in big games, grand final, he's kicking those goals from, you know, boundary and everything. But, no, nah, it's just, just the aura, I guess. It's, it's really <laughs> good. Mick Malthouse always used to say to us, he goes, if you can be a good game, good player for normal games, yeah. but you go to another level if you play well in a big game. I think Dusty went to another level on top yeah, of that he level. he took the genuine and piece. Yeah. Over the top. Well, yeah, that's what he did. 
playing big games when you are an 18-year-old coming through, 17, turning 18, and hoping to be drafted. There's no bigger games to play, Heath, than the national championships. Yeah, I didn't playing for Vic, you didn't have to do that because no. you were shit. <laughs> uh, playing for Vic Country, yeah. you won the Lark Medal. Yeah, nah. So he's a good player. He's the best player across the carnival for Vic Country. That's a pretty oh, good yeah. start, and being compared to the Bond oh, as well, yeah. lefty. Are you left footer? Yeah, I'm left footer. Well, that footy. makes sense. Yeah. yeah no. What are your right What are your strengths as a player? Um, I think it's my footy IQ. Yep. Um, and then my like impact in a contest and. As a, compared to Bont, like going down forward and impacting the scoreboard and kicking a few snags, but yeah. What height are you? A one ninety. One ninety th- midfield. Oh, like, that's, but that's off. normal now. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting like, big midfield. That's like Jimmy Clement when I got. I reckon he was one ninety two and he was like centre half back. Yeah. These guys now, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And this is a real random question for you. <laughs> I'll do this every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> so you say you're like your footy IQ. Yeah. Do you actually think or you just do? Because, like, there is people that think about footy and think they have to run to this spot and do all that stuff, but then some just do it, and they're just naturally. I think I just do it. I think, yeah. And that is your IQ. You it don't is. have to think. Yeah. You're just yeah. smart generally, and you know the feels of the game. Yeah. yeah. I, I apologize like for my teammate here. Um, <laughs> you're from Mount Martha yeah. in that sort of area. Where did you play your junior footy? Yeah, Mount Martha. Um, so we've had a few good past players come through, top top picks. And yeah. Yeah, Lucky look, Whitfield country. Lucky Whitfield. Is Nate Jones down there as well, or is he more uh, from Afghanistan? Uh, he was a Mount Eliza. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, close to where I live, so. Close enough. Close and enough. according to this, you're expected to go in the top five in the draft. Are you excited at the prospect that it could be to the Tigs? Are you, they'll have, obviously, pick one, I think, unless they've traded yeah. that out or yeah. whatever they do with it, but they may have a couple inside the top ten. Yeah, no, there's been a little bit of talk about them having a few trades, um... It would obviously be pretty special to go to Tigers and, you know, I wouldn't mind that happening, I guess. But, you know, anywhere we'll, anywhere we'll do. But obviously a big, big fan of the Tigers for my whole life. So yeah. Have you spoken to any clubs so far? Yeah, a couple of clubs. Haven't, haven't been to Tigers. But, no, I've been a, been a few clubs. Um, got a couple in the next week or two. But, you know, it's been, been a good process. So how many clubs would actually speak to you? Obviously, how many is it? 18 different teams. Would all of them come and talk to you or you're like top five? So not even get to, like the, the ones at the top, I don't get to bother talking to you because you're going to go way yeah. too high and not even worry about it. Um, I think, you know, most of them will come out to my home um, and then a few of them might be at draft combine, yep. but I'm not too sure, you know, when that will happen yet. But yeah, I think most of them will come out and see me before that. But yeah. We had Sammy Laylor in. He was saying he's more of a speed athlete. What are your strengths when it is going to come to the draft combine? Um, yeah, probably not as much speed. I think it's that endurance, you know, the 2K. What do you run a two k time trial in? Ooh, good one. Um, it's not it's not amazing, but I'm hoping to run six twenty when it comes to combine. So what was your best? Six twenty five. Okay, well, yeah. you got But I wasn't a good endurance athlete no. at all. Not even an athlete, I would say. Not even professional. Do you enjoy the fact that the pathways now are so professional? In that you know you know what your time trials are. You do the yep. ice baths. You're pretty much a professional athlete from the age of 16, so it's not as big as a contrast when you come into the league. Yeah, I think coming into like Stingrays, they sort of help you with getting prepared for the AFL and you know ice baths and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I think I'm you know pretty professional as a player and off field as well. But you know it definitely helps. Yeah. Do you have any? Um, obviously, at a young age, you've been touted as a, a big, a good talent. Yeah. Any mentors that you like, someone you would speak to like after games or go to that you can just go, yeah, mate, how do you reckon I went today? Or it's like just the shoulder to lean on? Yeah, I think obviously I've got a manager at Hemisphere. So, you know, he's really good for me and so is Hemisphere and overall. I th- yeah, and dad as well. I think after a game he's always, you know. He comes what, to all your games? To say. Yeah, of course. All my family comes to all my games. Yeah. So he's always there for me. Was he yeah. a player himself? He did. He played a couple of games for Essendon Reserves, but yeah, no, nah, he... Does he, he tell you about that a lot? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. As they have to one-up him pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. uh, we are in the second seg here, so we usually do a recommendation or something outside of the footballing world that we can give a little shout-out to for the listeners to go on. And we yeah. have a massive listener base too, so this will be taken very seriously. What are you watching? What's caught your eye lately? Um, Vikings I'm watching at the moment. So okay. it's just a... On which streaming platform? Uh, Netflix. How many yeah. episodes a night? Oh... Three, maybe. Two Ooh. or three. And so, just a, obviously it's somewhat about Vikings, but a general <laughs> gist. <laughs> I'm not sure where I got that idea from, but just a general That's gist wild. of the show. <laughs> no, nah, I think it's just these Vikings that go around and 
do Viking things. Do Viking things and yeah. raid other places, I guess. It's yeah. not, it's not too bad. yourself out. That's the worst question yeah. I've ever asked. No, it was That's all right. But thank you. That's all right. <laughs> um, I'm going to recommend the new Deadpool movie. Yeah, it right. is rated R, but it is... If you're into sort of a bit of dark humour, there's plenty of lulls in that one. Yeah? Yeah, it's very, very funny. Uh, rated R. Yeah, rated very R. Very aggressive. Mm. Different to the movies you watch that are... Uh, yeah. yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> recommendation. Yeah, I have... Um, I actually got recommended this by a mate of mine, and it's... You know the guy off Top Gear? Jeremy Clarkson. Jeremy Clarkson. It's called Clarkson's Farm, and he bought like he a like hundred acres, right? And now he's like just decided to be a farmer and he's farming it. And it's the funniest thing ever because he's just spending all this money and nothing works. Did a, a mate tell you this? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Was it me two weeks ago? <laughs> was it? This was my recommendation two weeks ago. You can laugh. Well, I got told it yesterday, so I started watching it last <laughs> night. <laughs> well, good to see that my recommendation's been sweet FA to you. Uh, there's some big games coming up, so we will get your predictions as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, Sydney taking on the Pies on Friday night. Big, big game. Sydney oh. obviously going like bustards. The Pies need to win to stay in. I'm tipping the Pies for what it's worth, but I do expect the Swans to respond. Yeah, apparently they had a couple of days off this week, Sydney. So, uh, including uh, Saturday last week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah against Port. Um, <laughs> I find it. I think the pies are going to find it really hard to beat Sydney. I think that like the big horse will get them up and about, and they need a fire. I think the pies are going to take oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just not happy with how the swans are going. Nah. What's your logic? Oh, I think pies will push as hard as they can to get in the eight, but yeah. I think they're going to take it. Well, yeah. I like that one. Our Brisbane take on your GWS. That is on Saturday afternoon. Massive game. The yeah, Lions at home huge. now are flying eight. And no, nine in a row for the Lions, five in a row for your GWS Giants. Good, good form. I'm happy to stay with the Lions. Yeah, the, the Giants actually played re- – like, obviously, they played really well in the last quarter. I think they'll roll that in. And they play well in the ga- at the Gabba. So okay. I'm going to back the Giants in. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, I'm sticking with the Lions. Good man. Yeah. I'm on my own, yeah. We're singing from the same hymn book <laughs> yeah. here. Fremantle take on Geelong. That's your Saturday <laughs> twilight fixture. It is over in the West. I think Fremantle – I. Like they'll be kicking themselves. They should not have lost that game of no. footy. 25 points up in the last quarter and somehow managed to lose it. Would have been a stark review. I think they're going better than the Cats. I think they win. Yeah, I'll go with Freo because I don't want to be left out again. No, I'm going Freo. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last big game is Carlton taking on the Hawks. My goodness, but the Bombers fans and the Carlton fans are as nervous as it's all get out. It's great. It's great for footy that they're both like on the knife's edge. Fev sat here last week in your absence and said, if Carlton lose to the Pies, they won't make finals. Well, the Hawks were very, very good for three and a half quarters, to be honest, against yes. the Giants. Um, they should have won that as and well. And so, yeah, that they'll be, yeah. I think they need to win every game to get in the Hawks, so... They're, they're on fire. And you know what? Carlton are nervous. Mm. Nervous nervous mm. teams is nervous supporters. Yeah. Oh, tough. I think Blues are going to hold on, okay. I think. Yeah. I like it. I think uh, so. And the other big one, not so much in terms of ladder positions, but also for drafting. <laughs> North Melbourne take on the West Coast Eagles. Where's that? Here. Uh, Blunston. Oh, no, oh, yeah, Tassie. Blunston. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tassie. Nah. North will beat them. North. There. North? Yeah, West, yeah, Coast don't want, West Coast don't want to be there. So yeah. that'll North mean that North will end up with pick three, maybe pick four with some trades. Oh, well, doesn't have to leave the state. Mate, yeah, but imagine him next to LDU. You've got the Shees down there, Colby McCurry. Yeah, he won't get a game. Condon. Yeah. Oh. He wants to go to Perth and he'll just go play with Harley Reid. Oh. I disagree with you. You're meant to pump these kids up, not oh, tell no, them their dreams are shattered. We want them to play straight away. We, uh, we honestly can't guts. wait to uh, see you, what you can do. We obviously hope you're going to get drafted, but that would just be me being patronising. You will get drafted. You're going to be a star and we Thank you so much. We're officially going to claim you as our boy. Yeah, Harvey nice. Langford, thank you so much and all the best. Thank you. Thanks, Hapes. Thanks, mate. That's been the Footy Talk podcast for your Thursday. A massive weekend of footy coming up. We'll be back on Monday to dissect it all. This has been the Footy Talk podcast. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend.